Hello there gamers. So, uh, recently a fellow YouTuber, Duxy, made a video discussing how to make a proper good looking character on ATF Mirage. Now, in his video, he discussed where to get clothing, uh, where to get good hat retextures, but the problem is, he didn't really discuss how to make retextures or how to get hats. So, this video is just going to be showing you how to do those two things because they're kind of related. Um, so, yeah. Uh, first things first, you're going to need to have Roblox Plus. So, uh, right now, there should be a little video playing showing you how to get it. Um, so, do that. It's entirely safe. Over a million people use it. I've used it for like three years, and, uh, you know, I really haven't had anything bad happen to me. Anyway, so, what we're going to be doing, first things first, is finding a hat that we want to retexture. So, if you go to the avatar shop, uh, filter by community creations, that's where most people get their hats as of recent. So, let's find a hat that you want to retexture. So, I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Say you want to, uh, let's find a good hat really quick. Uh, say that you want to get, how about, um, I don't know, let's just search up, let's search up something, shall we? Let's just search up, uh, I believe, here, here, I'll make a, uh, civilian respirator. Uh, what, I don't know, civilian gas mask is what it's called, I believe. I'll make a retexture for that. Uh, this is a GP5, uh, it's based off the GP5 at least. So, you look at this, and you say, okay, well, I, I have the hat that I want to make. Obviously, you don't have to have the, the GP5, but whatever. It's entirely up to you. Um, so, you look at this, and you might think, wait, what? Wait, but how do I get the texture? So, this is where Roblox Plus comes in. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to gear, and then you're going to click on linked items, and then you look down here, and there's the mesh. Now, this is what you use for uh, any hat, really. This is what every hat has. This is the model for a hat. So, then, you have the texture. Now, down here is the texture. Um, so, yeah, this looks a little bit complicated at first, but trust me, it's not. So, what you're going to do, you're just going to click on Save Image As. And then, you're going to save it as whatever the fuck that you want there, really. It doesn't matter. So, I'm just going to call it a GP5 texture. Boom. So then, you're going to uh, close Google, or whatever you're using. I assume you're using Google because you had that. Then, you're going to open up this down here. Now, this is Paint.net. Now, Paint.net is a free editing software. You don't need to use Paint.net. You're going to need some form of video editing software. Or not video editing, uh, image editing software, like Photoshop or Paint or whatever. Uh, so anyway, what you're going to do is you're just going to clear out all this, and then you're going to open up a um, file. You're going to open up file, and then you're going to click open, right? And then you're going to go to wherever you saved it, and you're going to type in the file name. So GP5 texture, you're going to click on that, and then you're going to click open. Now, now that you're already down here, uh, every, your texture is in here, right? So, now, uh, say that I want to make it, let's say I want to change the filter, because if you don't know, GP5s have, uh, asbestos filters, it, like, degrades your lungs and shit. So, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna click on the magic wand tool. So, uh, you select this, and then you just click on any of these, right? And you're gonna go up here to tolerance, and then you're gonna slide this down, and then you're going to click on this, and boom. Now you can select anything in that color. I'm not going to go too into detail on how to work this, but you know I will show you uh, what I'm going to do to really make this. So, uh, like I just said, uh, you know I'm not going to go too far into detail on how to do this because you know there, there's hundreds of YouTube tutorials out there for paint.net. I'm not fucking finding some random ass uh, old thing that nobody uses. This has a shit ton of uh, people who have already made a tutorial on it. I'm sure. 
So, uh, what we're gonna do, because, you know, uh, I'm not actually good at making textures at all. I'm just gonna make it all black, right? Maybe not that black, maybe like, a. how the fuck do you get black on paint? I don't know, I'm just gonna make it like gray or something, right? To make the FP5 filter, right? So, that's what you're gonna do. Then we're gonna go up here, and then do the same over here. Boom, boom. Slide the tolerance so that it, you know, pro uh, properly grabs uh, whatever you're trying to edit. So then the outlines here are your perimeters, I guess. So like you can't edit something that's not in your perimeters. So for example, if I didn't have these, then and clicked, well, boom, that just kind of ruins the entire thing. But um, with perimeters, it only affects that little chunk so again you want to do this well cool now you can because perimeters are cool like that and uh yeah you just keep doing that obviously there's an endless amount of things that you could do if you're actually skilled enough to do it there's an endless amount of creativity that you could pour into these textures i'm just recalling a gas mask filter here like, it's, it's nothing that big that would be um, too in-depth, just because, you know, I don't want to spend five hours recording. Anyway, I'm just going to do this, and then eventually, whenever it looks good enough, so I'm just going to maybe do this little green area over here really quickly. Should look good enough in a couple of seconds here. Let me just, boom. So whenever it looks good enough to you, again, this is entirely up to you what you want to do. If you want to make the face mask like if you want to you want to put like a little logo up here you can if you want to like change out the eye filter the uh eye pieces you can every texture is unique and you have to learn every texture it's annoying and it's why i don't really like to get into this um texture making stuff but it is uh definitely important there are people who do it uh trust me I literally just look in the Discord server uh, for retextures. There's so, so many uh, retextures in there. So, anyway, here is just a very basic retexture. I'm not going to go into detail, like I said. This is just something simple to show you what to do. So, now you're going to come up here, you're going to click Save As, and you're going to save it as whatever you want to call it, right? Uh, so, I'm just going to name it the GP5 texture. Boom. GP5 texture already existed. Well, now it doesn't. And now it's this. Boom. Now, you're going to go back to Roblox. Now that you're on Roblox, you're going to go up here to create. And you're going to go to decals, right? So, you click on decals. Right? Give it a minute so that decals will load. Yep, there you go. Now, click on choose file, and that will go to, uh, whatever it is, the GB5 mask, again, that's what I had, uh, open it, upload it to Roblox, it will scan this, um, and then, you know, publish it to their website, then you want to wait a couple of seconds, uh, and by seconds I mean like, I don't know, maybe 30 or so minutes, and then it will, uh, be ready for everybody to see. But, uh, that is often way too long for testing, right? So, the way that you test it, thankfully, if you already have, uh, if, if you're the one uploading it, it'll already be, it'll already be loaded for you. So, if you want to go ahead and load it up on Mirage, say, I'll open up Mirage here, um, open up Mirage, yep. Uh, I'm just going to minimize that, put it somewhere else. And what you want to do is go to here. And then you're going to... So, in order to get the texture that you want, you're going to have to do this. Now, this is by far the most repetitive uh, part of making a texture. You see these little numbers up here? You're going to just go down one. So... 9, now it's 8. Now we're at this guy's place. 8, now it's 7. 
Alright, now we're at a fucking deleted thing. Seven, then we go to six, so on and so forth. I'd recommend doing this in Mirage, so I'm gonna show you how to do that here. So, let's just, uh, I, this is also when I'm gonna show you how to actually select the hats that you want. So, we're just gonna go to Customize, going to, let me just remove that so it's easier to see. We're just gonna remove all of our hats, right? And then, we are going to want the, we're gonna want the, uh, GP5, right? Uh, it's not called the GP5, I'm stupid. Civilian gas mask, right? So we're gonna go to here, we're gonna go to the hat, and we are just going to go up to the link, and behind civilian gas mask, the name of the hat, it'll have uh, this string of text again. We're gonna go into uh, ATF, and you're going to paste that here, Click load accessory and it will load. Now, obviously, we haven't applied a texture yet, so if you want to apply the texture, uh, like I said, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to details, you're going to have to go to GP5 texture, you're going to do the same thing here, copy this, then you're going to go up here, you're going to open up Roblox, you're going to paste this here, you're going to click set ID. And now, you're gonna do it here. So, 009 goes to 008, 008 goes to 007, 007 goes to 006, and 5, and 4, and then, yeah, you get the gist. Just keep doing that until eventually your texture will load. You will know that it's your texture because you know it's properly mapped on. Um, now, whenever you go down like this, you know, you gotta... Kind of do like that, and you know that can be annoying. So let me just open up like Discord or something. Really quickly move that down. Boom! Right. So you just keep doing this, and eventually, what? What, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> um, just gonna keep doing this until eventually you will find your texture. Another thing that you can do, so that you can make sure that it is, you know, working properly, um, is use Blender, and then what you can do in there is paste it on there. Unfortunately, I don't use Blender, I don't have it installed, uh, because I am, you know, not really a texture maker or game developer, but as you can see here, uh, we have found the texture. We have found the texture, it works perfectly, uh, just as we wanted it to. As you can see, it has a black, um, you know, a black filter. It works perfectly, just as we wanted. So that's how you make a texture. Again, like I said, that's a very simple, uh, texture. Oh god, I'm getting noticed. Hello there. Um, so, yeah, that's how you make a texture. As you can see, just change the color of the filter, or you could, like, change the color of the mask itself. Uh, that'd probably require more detail. You could make it, like, maybe green or something instead of, um, white. Maybe make, like, a whole new gas mask entirely. So, yeah, that's all that you really gotta do. You can really do whatever you want with it. Again, there's no limit on what you can or cannot do. As long as it's not, like, you know, slapping a dick on the forehead, then you should be fine. Um, now, there's one more thing. Like, like, for example, sometimes, uh, again, if you open up Paint, um, here right now, as you can see, these little, um, these right here, this right here, this is actually duplicated twice, right? So, I believe, um, right about here, I believe right about, um, this texture, yep, so, as you can see, if you look at it, this, um, these little up here, these, uh, th this image is duplicated. Uh, so for example, if you go onto the actual R Roblox website, then you, you know, paste that in, go to 8. Uh, as you can see, there's only one of these, right? But it's in the same general area. So what the actual model itself does is it duplicates this little part of it. This is obviously a shirt or something, or like pants, I think. But, um, here... The model doesn't 
the the thing doesn't know that so it just you know plasters it out so the texture itself goes onto the eyes and also um part of it is around it because you know it's not exactly supposed to be designed for this uh hat but you get the gist um that's how textures work one more thing that I would like to note, um, that I forgot to mention, uh, while I was recording that, is that some hats, like for example, right here, um, doesn't, don't actually have a back, but what you can do is you can go ahead and take one of the various balaclava textures that you can find on Roblox, uh, hats I mean, and then maybe if you want you can retexture that. Um, but what I did was I just put this in here. Um, boom boom. No, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, what you can do is you can take this, put that in here, um, turn that around, and then boom, now you have something here. Uh, something I also did to show that there's a rebreather on this specific character is add a texture, and uh, boom. Now, if you shade it the same, like in the texture, uh, and then match the colors here, then they look spot on. There's pretty much no difference between the two. Uh, this was, th this hat here was an entire accident. Um, I would not really recommend retexturing that. You don't need to. Uh, I just did that because, you know, I guess it shows that there's a rebreather there. There's no real need to retexture that area, right? Outside of maybe just wanting to for practice or something. But, um, yeah, you could also just slap on a normal ball of clava without any texture. Uh, like I showed a minute ago. Just slap that on really quick. Let me reset ID. And then, you know, you can play around with the, um, coloring. And eventually, I'm sure that you will find something that ends up matching. So, for example, here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. This matches. And eventually, uh, yeah. Now you can go and, you know, have your new cool character that you just made. 